The show is nominally um, a show set in a teaching, the obstetric wing of a teaching hospital, uh, of an NHS teaching hospital in 1961. Um, uh, but it's not in any way a procedural show. Um, and in fact, um, through the characters that inhabit that world, or, ha or recently have been inhabiting it, in the case of Zoe's character, um, it actually is, becomes much more, obviously it's an exploration of character, but it's also the, the time and the place are chosen very carefully because it allows you to explore a lot of themes about women in society and what was happening at that moment, and just society in general, to be honest, because I think people's, um, if you say 1961, people think, oh, they're swinging 60s, and it's like, not really. It hasn't really started. And in fact, you know, 1961 in London is very different to 1961 in, say, New York. You know, Britain is still a kind of bombed out shell, and society is still this very kind of rather glum post-war place, and it's very sort of stratified, and, but it's all right on the edge of being about to change, and that's always a good place to, to explore any kind of story, I think. First of all, the period. I'm gonna say something really glib. The fashion is amazing. Um, but more importantly than that, I fell in love with the role, and I think the time is perfect to explore a woman character who is very in touch with her sexuality but still has to sort of keep a very strong veneer of respectability and she's not always great at it. She sort of pushes her sexuality quite far um, and she does it in order to get ahead and that's all quite interesting to explore um, because the options to women were so much more limited at that time. Um, and it's interesting to see how she navigates that. And um, what's wonderful about this script is everyone has secrets. Everybody is lying about something or is in on a secret. Um, and that's really juicy material for an actor. The shocking thing is that it was, I mean, in um, uh, geological terms, about 10 minutes ago. Mm. Um, and I think that's quite alarming really um, in the, and, and I think it's actually a very becomes a very compelling way to, to look at those things because it really was very very recently and, and it was an incredibly different world and uh, you know I you know we live in a world now which is also undergoing fantastically profound and rapid change for different reasons and I think sometimes it's quite useful for people to be able to kind of contextualise their own <laughs> experience in their own lives by seeing something. Yeah, I mean, they might not make that connection sort of immediately, but I think I think that's one of the reasons. Hopefully, that it makes it a kind of compelling thing to watch. It was incredibly fun. My, one of my sort of eureka moments was at the camera test, and I saw what they were doing with the lighting, and it's it was so bold, using so much colour, and at the fitting, they, uh, the designer Charlotte was just absolutely adamant that everything had to be bright. So I'm always in bright greens or bright reds. or And so, and that's really exciting when you, that's your first sort of taste of what it's going to look like. Uh, the sets are all, I mean, my flat is like a 1960s showroom. I mean, it's all uber swanky, very, very cool look. Um, and the way it's shot is just beautiful. It's a real feast for the eyes. And it looks like it's sort of made at the time. It sort of has that sort of richness to it. It's really beautifully done. It's a given, it's a good time to be working in television. I think, you know, there's stuff of real scope and ambition being made in ways that they just weren't five, five ten years ago. Um, and I think as far as, I mean, I feel like I've, I, I went on a run for about seven years of never wearing trousers that weren't breeches for like ever. Um, the, the, f the first time I got some trousers that went to my ankle, I was you know, just a <laughs> source of great joy. Um, so I, I feel like I've, maybe that's just me, but um, yeah, I mean, I, I, think, I think in terms of inhabiting character, um, I, I, I find it interesting to how, you know, you find ways to hold yourself differently and um, and then you immediately just start to communicate with people differently. And 
Um, and, and in terms of the sort of, you know, disappearing that you do as an actor, that, that, that can be, that can really help with what you're trying to do because, um, you know, as much as it's nice to wear comfortable modern clothing and look a bit like you do normally, sometimes in, in an odd way that can be strangely limiting, I think. So yeah, it's, I, I enjoy the dressing up part, if that's what you're asking. There's a sort of exoticism to it, I think, of another world and it's exciting to get a view into that world. But when you're in the 60s, it's sort of familiar enough as well, so you can relate to it at the same time, and that's a nice combination, I think. They scoured uh, the city for a very particular kind of... Because you've got to remember that in 61, so Britain really hasn't had any money to spend on anything other than sifting through rub rubble for 15, 16 years. And the very first major piece of... Uh, government public work spending was on NHS hospitals. It was the, it was the, it was the first th sort of indication that we were kind of coming out of that fog. And so an NHS teaching hospital, which would have been topped out like 10 minutes before this story begins, is sort of the most, the ultimate expression of kind of clean, functioning modernity. And, and, it, and, in t just to echo what Zoe was saying about the sort of the colour palette and the lighting, they also wanted this very kind of clean, unfussy. Quite, I mean, the, the set the set design was some of it was built, but a lot of it they just scoured the city to find this, and it's a very very specific look, um, and it and it I think it really helps with it because it doesn't look like a London that you. Because everyone goes, you know, would you, if you'd like to have been in the 60s? And I'm like, not really, because nothing worked, mm -hmm. really, except those hospitals, uh, basically. And, and the, it, it was what was always quite shocking, when we sh shot in the set that was our main ward, you know, there's like 15 beds in there, and five of them would be empty. Not like now, um, at, because they had more than enough of what they needed, and it was all kind of functioning in this way that... Um, is not reflective of the present, <laughs> perhaps. But um, but yeah, it was very. We, uh, our our, our uh, production designer did a beautiful job, actually, a really beautiful job. Well, I mean, I think any serialised drama is uh, created with a view to continuing. Um, but you know, the court of public opinion is not yet in session, so we'll see how we go. I really want to get to the late 60s so I can wear a miniskirt. Just, just and me too. Out there. I just, I think that's what the people want. It's yeah. me and Zoe both in miniskirts. Matching. Yes. I'll have a slightly wider waistband. Right. I'm afraid. <laughs>